so lonely when you leave me I need someone where go home me mm -hmm. I need love, I need totally I need love, I need somebody, I need love mm -hmm. I need somebody, I need touch mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I need Bye. totally What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. Scorpio, before we get started, I just want to say thank you guys for sending all your love and energy to me. Like, y'all know y'all didn't see my face. I told y'all y'all weren't going to see me till Scorpio season, but <clears throat> I don't know. I feel that the energy is better. I don't know what's going on or what was going on in the past, but Oh, Lord, that energy had me not want to do nothing. I didn't want to do my hair. I didn't want to paint my nails. I was like, yep, all this, okay? <laughs> but we back, Scorpio. We are back. For how long? I don't know. But we're going to celebrate the fact that I'm back. So let's see what energy. No, we're seeing what's being activated around us at this time, okay? All right, messages for my Scorpios. What is being activated for my Scorpio? Scorpio, I hope y'all can hear me. Ain't nobody saying nothing, so I guess. I'm good. I feel like I got this damn thing right up under my throat. All right, y'all. Then we got throat chakra right here. Lots of blue, okay? We have grounded. Someone here, I feel like spirit is wanting you guys to remember that we're all connected. And we're all connected to source, okay? So spirit could be encouraging you to stay grounded at this time or to ground yourself. Maybe take off your shoes, go walk in the soil, you know, get a better connection with Mother Earth. You can be 28. All right. We have discernment. I talked about that earlier. Okay. This talks about the support and the ability to, be, to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance and detachment, yet compassion and wisdom. Okay. So what this means, it's like, say, if you got somebody returning, right? Somebody you still love and miss and all that. Okay. So your first reaction is going to be those emotions you know what I'm saying, are, are going to be what you kind of go towards first because there's somebody you kind of want to hear from. But when you use discernment, you got to put all this shit to the side. You got to put your feelings, you got to put emotions to the side, okay? You can only bring logic. You can only bring your rational thinking, wisdom, knowledge, things that you've been shown here. That's how you use discernment, okay? And we also have throat chakra, this supports the, uh, the ability to self-express yourself with peace and balance, okay? So someone here, Scorpio, I feel like wants to communicate, wants to talk. Their throat chakra is being activated. You could be seeing 555. Five, five. You could be seeing 2020, Scorpio. All right, so let's go to the yin and yang. Let's see what's going on here. If y'all have trouble hearing me, let me know. I think I'm good, though. Shit, if you can't hear on my throat, I don't know where else I'm supposed to hear <laughs> All right, so let me shuffle through these cards for a second. Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. What is it that Scorpio needs to know? Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. What is it that my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios want to know? Because we got throat chakra. So someone here that's been silent, Scorpio, I feel like somebody here may want to talk. Like now they want to reach out, communicate, okay? Or now their throat chakra is being activated. Maybe it was closed in the past to where this person couldn't talk. They couldn't communicate, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, so tell us what's going on. Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. All right, Scorpio. Somebody here, Scorpio, I feel like it took this person a long time to come towards you to talk to you, okay, because you were dealing with someone that doesn't like to admit when they're wrong. So somebody here, I feel like, always feels like they're right. But for once, okay, this person was shown, like, now you was wrong. So I feel like now, I feel like this person, they're like, damn. So somebody here could have made a blame something on you, or they could have made everything seem like it was your fault, but it was all because someone here didn't like to take accountability. Okay, they never like to admit when they're wrong. And I feel like this is this person who their throat chakra now is opening up. Okay, I feel like their throat chakra was closed for a long time because they didn't like to take accountability. 
you know, you can't take accountability. That means you never can't see things being your fault. Like everything is always going to be everybody else's fault. You always going to put the blame on everyone else. Okay. So someone here, Scorpio, does not like to admit when they're wrong. And I feel like this is someone who ignored all your questions to avoid having an issue or you and them getting it to it or it being a problem between you and them. Okay. So you would ask this person a question and shit, they'll, you know, reflect that shit and, and start talking about something else. So they just want to answer it all. Like you just want to hear from this person. They'll just stop talking to, you know, this person didn't want to answer them questions. They was trying to figure out why the hell was you asking them them damn questions in the first place. Like what made you ask that shit? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tell us more, Holly Spirit. What is it that Scorpio needs to know? Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us more. All right, Scorpio, this could have been someone who was very toxic, okay? Some of you could have been dealing with a Capricorn, didn't have to be. I feel like, Scorpio, this person was in a in a very toxic-ass energy. And I feel like this is what allowed, or this is what didn't allow this person to communicate to you fully. You know what I'm saying? Keep it 100 with you all the time. This one allowed this person to acknowledge their wrong. Even if they acknowledge their wrong, they weren't going to speak about this shit, Okay. But this somebody that's been watching your ass, Scorpio, whoever this is, this person has been watching you. I, try, I feel like trying to figure out the perfect time to approach you or how to communicate to you guys, okay? They family and friends know about you, okay? So you're not a secret here. People know about you, Scorpio. Why are they talking to their family and friends about you? Because they're ready to come into union, okay? This is someone, Scorpio, I feel like that you've been in separation with for a while, okay? I feel like for some of you, you separated from this person in the first place because they never took accountability. You know, this person, like, never nothing was their damn fault. Like, this is somebody, shit, they was perfection. Like, they was the perfection of a man or a woman. Like, shit, how dare you say they was wrong or they did some shit wrong? You know what I'm saying? Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us more. What is it that Scorpio needs to know? So I feel like for some of you guys, this is this person that wants to communicate. But Scorpio, use your discernment. Remember earlier, I did a reading that talked about this, okay? Use your discernment if this person decides to reach out to you guys, okay? Because we still got toxic here. I don't know if this is the energy they was in in the past or if they still in this energy, okay? Look at this. And then I say that shit and what the hell pop out. But this person, Scorpio, still don't want to give you what you deserve, okay? So even though this person, Scorpio, has been talking about you to your family, to their family and friends, even though this person is ready for union, Scorpio, I feel like this person don't want to give you that apology. That's what you deserve. This person, in order for them to fully take accountability, in order for this shit to come full circle between you and this person, they have to apologize. And this is someone, Scorpio, that I feel like has a hard time apologizing. Let's see. Maybe this is how they were in the past. Because we got union. They want to come into union. But how the hell you going to come want to come into union when you don't want to apologize here? Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. Mmm. <sighs> this is someone, Scorpio, that's still learning a karmic lesson. Okay? This lesson, I feel like, has not all the way been learned and this is why this person still doesn't want to give you what you deserve this person knows that you owe they owe you an apology but they can't give you that shit they still can't give you what they deserve because they're still learning this karmic lesson okay so some of you there's still a karmic involved they're still dealing with this karmic okay but i feel like their throat chakra is being activated which means scorpio even though they don't want to give you what you deserve now doesn't mean you won't get what you deserve in the future but at this current moment on today's date, no, nah, they're not ready to give you what you want, okay? Why Why does this person scared to tell you the truth? Why do they not want to apologize, Scorpio? Because they feel like the truth going to hurt you. They feel like whatever truth they got to tell you or this apology that they give you, that shit going to hurt. And they know once it hurts, Scorpio, you're not fucking with them no more, okay? They, they feel like that shit too good, Scorpio, to just let you go to tell you the truth. And so I feel like for some of you guys, they're like, shit, I'm going to take this shit to my grave. Like, Scorpio, I never know the truth, okay? But I feel like they... It's this sexual energy of somebody that's sick because this shit is so good. Like, somebody here just don't want to mess that up. Like, they don't want to mess up that opportunity and not being able to hit this shit no more, Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it real. Because this came out right after the truth going to hurt you. 
someone here I feel like don't want to give you what you deserve. Like I feel like somebody want to communicate. They want to come in, but they just really want sex. I feel like this this is somebody, I'm not going to say they don't want to come in, into union because union is here. They're talking to their family and friends about you. But the problem is, Scorpio, this person fears that the truth is going to hurt you. And I feel like that's the main thing that keeps this person from apologizing. Because they know if they apologize, Scorpio, they got to apologize from the beginning all the way to the end. You know what I'm saying? They got to apologize for everything. And see, this person, they don't want to relive this shit. They don't want to talk about it. Or none of that shit, okay? So for some of you, I feel like this person, even though they're ready for union, their family and friends talk, know about you, okay? They've been watching you. I don't feel like this person is ready. Let's see. Let's get a couple of more. Messages for my Scorpio. Let's get one more. What is it that Scorpio needs to know, Holy Spirit? Messages for my Scorpio. For some of you guys, you may see this person, okay? You can feel this person's energy in traffic. Maybe they feel your energy. You can see this person today or sometime this week in traffic, okay? And they're going to feel that shit, okay? For some of you guys, they've been watching you. Like, I'm talking about watching you, watching you like shit. Look at this. I talk about you to my family and friends, and their family and friends know about you, Scorpio. They've been talking about you. They know about you. They're ready for you. But this is somebody who I feel like, Scorpio, they're still not ready to give you that apology. And it's only because they feel like this truth is going to hurt you. Like, this person got to tell you the truth. And they feel like when they tell you the honest to God truth, Scorpio, it's, 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 it's going to hurt you. And I feel like they don't want to let you get away this time, okay? This person, I like, they had to let you go that first time. They don't want to let you go a second time, Scorpio. So I feel like for some of you guys, shit, this person still finna hold off on this apology. They don't want to let you get away, though. I feel like their family and friends are talking to them about how exactly am I supposed to tell Scorpio the truth? Like, how exactly am I supposed to go about this? Because I can't let Scorpio get away. Like, Scorpio already done turned their back. They done walked away from me once. I already walked away from them, okay? We already lost each other. We already lost each other once, okay? And this person's saying they don't want to have that shit happen again. Let's see who we talking about. Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. All right, y'all. We got Heavy Aries, Cancer, Gemini. All right. We got Heavy Virgo, Libra, Cancer. And we also have Capricorn, Aries, Aquarius, and Pisces. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.